Hey everyone, welcome back to another shooter tutorial. This is Mike the Tech. Uh, so in our last episode we added a score to our game and a way to increase the score and a way to display the score. And in this episode we are going to um, set up our power up so that instead of just having to be placed in the room it's also going to be spawned uh, randomly just like enemies. So uh, let's go ahead and set that up. And we'll also have it spawn at uh, random times and random points. So let's open up our object control level one because that's where we're controlling everything in our game. Um, and we'll see here that we have an alarm here that says alarm zero, countdown 120. And alarm zero says create enemy one at a random range between the left side of the screen and the right side of the screen. Uh, and in the y-axis negative 100 because we want it to show up above the screen slightly before it comes in so it doesn't just pop into the screen and then we reset the alarm so uh, basically every two seconds another enemy shows up so we're going to do that same process but we're going to do it for our power up and every say 10 seconds maybe a power up will show up so let's go ahead and do that so um, if we create a new alarm countdown and we'll choose alarm one because we've already used alarm zero choose alarm one and we'll set that to 600 which is 60 frames a second times 10 which is 10 seconds that was just lucky that that happened to be easy to multiply or you'd see me getting the calculator out so now let's go into our add event and we'll go to alarm one which we just created and we want it to spawn our power up and we can peek over at our first alarm and copy this code and then paste it over here and what this basically does is it um, chooses the X position the left side of the screen and the right side of the screen um, and instead of starting at zero because that would be hard to get if it was just coming up on the corner of the screen we put um, the range to be a hundred pixels from the left so just slightly over to the left or from the left side so it's not ever going to just um, appear off screen and then our room width which however big our room screen happens to be uh, maybe 1920 in most computers um, it'll use that minus 100 so to get to the right side of the screen and then subtract the 100 from it so we have that same little padding on the right side okay now we'll go to our uh, y and that's just negative 100 so we'll type negative 100 now before we do this, there's one important thing that we have to remember, and that is that our power-up is not mobile, it's stationary. So it's just going to be spawning a bunch of power-ups off-screen, and you're not going to be able to see this code work. So we have to go in and make our power-up move. So let's see how fast our enemy moves. 7.5. Okay, so how did we come upon that number anyway? Uh, let's go into our object power up and let's add in the step event a jump to position the same way jump to point and our relative position of y will be just like our enemy instead of 7.5 we're going to make it come down at 7 just so it's I don't know, slightly slower than an enemy so it stands out a bit so now let's hit play and our power-ups fall now and hopefully in 10 seconds we will see a power-up show up in a random position and there it is there's one power-up so in every 600 frames of the game we'll have a new power-up and we also as you remember have a timer to where if we don't collect that power-up um, our laser goes back to a single laser so now I have to wait for that power up to come back before I can um, get a double laser again so let's just hang out a bit um, and we'll I just realized that there was a mistake we we forgot to um, reset our alarm but now that we know that it works that's great um, so we're gonna go ahead and go into our object control level one and we'll see that we created the instance but we didn't reset that alarm so let's go ahead and um, go over here and copy this alarm 
So set alarm countdown 1 to 600. We're going to go to copy. And then we'll just go ahead and paste this down here. So now when we hit play, it should work as intended and spawn more power-ups. So we have double lasers. We'll wait a bit. And there's one power-up. But you can't trick me. We should always test our games thoroughly to make sure that they're working as planned. And they are. There's the second power-up just in time for my uh, laser to regenerate. So, great. Now we have more sections to our game. And there's another power-up, and it's working. All right. So, another thing that I noticed is the room speed is a little bit slow. So, that's been bugging me a bit. So, let's go ahead and update that. Let's go to our room. Let's set our background 2, which is our upper layer, to 9. And let's set our background 2 to 4. Let's try it. That looks better. Now it looks like we have some speed to our game. Enemies are looking pretty cool. They're going pretty speedy. And everything feels a lot faster, right? I'm really liking how this is turning out. Alright, so that's enough for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace.